What's up, y'all? Triple B here. Another day, another pork roll, egg, and cheese sandwich. I got a very special guest judge with me today. Uh, he's a chef at JNA uh, in South Philly near Washington Ave. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Adam Cantor, a friend of mine. What's up, everybody? How you doing? One of the best damn bartenders I've ever had the privilege of working alongside as well. Chef, bartender, I do it all. That's right. Um, so we are at John's Roast Pork today. I am super excited to be here. I'm expecting big things with this sandwich. Uh, they're a James Beard Award winner for their roast pork sandwich. Their cheesesteak is consistently in the top 10 on all the lists in Philly. Um, and they're one of the few places around that does a pork roll, egg, and cheese. Do you have like an ideal Taylor Ham egg and cheese sandwich? So, you know, I, I grew up in New Jersey, grew up in North Jersey, so, uh, you know, we called them Taylor Ham egg and cheese, which I guess you also do. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it has to be a nice fried egg, you know. I'll, if it's scrambled egg, I'm okay with that. But good fried egg, fry it hard. Although, you know, if you make the the yolk a little soft, I'd be down with that. That sounds great. Right. Uh, that's how I make it at home. I make it with a, mm -hmm. with a nice wet egg in there, and that's the sauce. Yeah, I like that drippy yolk. A little oh, it's bit. great. Uh, and then the, you know the pork roll. It's got to be just you know really nice and, and full. I, I like I like the thick slices. You know, when they make them, you know the quarter inch thick slices. I'm a, I'm a big fan of those guys there. Okay. With a nice slice of cheese in between each word, piece. Word. That's how, how I do it. How much pork roll should be on the sandwich? Let's say maybe like two two fat quarter inch slices. So maybe a good half inch. I okay, guess right of, right of pork roll. Yeah. So that's kind of like diner style too, right? Typically. Sounds about right. All right. Cool. So they come in two sizes, small and large. I got us two larges, salt, pepper, ketchup. Let's break into them and see right. how they are. I've never seen one of these done in a, in a hoagie setup before. Yeah, you know, I assumed it was gonna be in like a hoagie roll just because most of their sandwiches are. Um, you know, typically I like a good Kaiser roll, but their bread here is also really amazing. So oh, nice. hopefully it's not gonna matter. Oh, look at that, seeded hoagie roll. That's, that's new to me. Oh, look at that cross section. Nice seated roll. Oh, look at it. it's just dripping with cheese. Scrambled egg. A lot of cheese right. here. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, man. They went with the thick slices of Taylor Hammer. Mm -hmm. Let's get a little inside view. Looks like we got that, you know, single thick slice. One on each side. My first bite was all egg. Yeah, you, know, you just can't go wrong with one of these sandwiches. It's, it's impossible to mess it up. It really is like, makes me feel like a kid again, you know? It's serious comfort food. This is good, there's a lot of cheese on here. What I like about these sandwiches is typically they're not messy at all. Like they're, you know, as far as sandwiches are concerned, there's a lot messier things out there. But this is a pretty messy sandwich right here for uh, for a pork roll, egg, and cheese. Yeah, this is epic. I can make a couple of meals out of this. Reasonably priced for the size too. How much was it? Uh, I believe six seventy-five oh, per sandwich. Good. You know, plus tax, tip. Our sandwich uh, that we had at Smuckers yesterday was six. It's like, you know, a third of this size. You got some napkins over there? Yeah, I think so. This is a messy guy. <laughs> no, no napkins. No, all right, we're going to have to <laughs> improvise. Use my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, first impressions. Flavors there. You know, egg scrambled, I don't love that, but you know, probably makes sense. It's nice and quick. I don't know, you got a rating in mind? Hmm. I'll let you go, you wanna you want go first or you want me? You want me? Go first. All right, all right. I think I know where I'm going. It's definitely better than what we had yesterday. It's different again. It's not how I love these sandwiches. I thought the bread was going to be a little, have, be a little uh, crunchier. I'll go, I'll go with seven winks on this guy. You I'm know, right there with you. I think seven winks is a totally uh, fair score. Yeah, it's tasty, but like you said, you know the eggs are scrambled. Um, but you know it's probably you know in, in, a, in a short order place like this with cheesesteaks and stuff, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Yep. 
Yeah, all right, there you have it. We're seven oits on the John's Roast Pork, pork roll, egg, and cheese sandwich. Uh, I mean, for the money, if you're hungry, you're working. I mean, I just think it's cool to be here too. This this place has been open since 1930. So we're looking at what? Over 80 years, 90, something 90 like that? Years, yeah, 90 yeah. years. Damn. So that's just impressive in its own right. Uh, Adam, thanks for being here, man. Absolutely. It's really great to see you. It's been too long. It's been great. I love I love a sandwich and I love you. All right, work. Seven oinks. All right, you know how we end it, right? Much love. Stay groovy. <laughs>